Welcome back, survivors, to another episode of Seven Days to Die on my PS4. So it's day five. We still have some time to get ready for the horde. So uh, we just discovered last episode that the hub is actually right here. We didn't approach it, but we definitely saw it. So we have a lot of work to do here. Now, I'm actually not going to swim all the way back home. I'm actually going to take the, this landmass, run, run around the edges, and actually just kind of collect some stuff. I'm looking for loot on the ground. I'm looking for bird's nest. Basically, just everything, right? Instead of swimming, I may as well make most of my time because, like, literally half this playthrough has been just swimming. So I really need to get my act together here, get some stuff together, and, oh, look at that, a bird's nest. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm going to make my way home here, and we are going to work on our horde base, actually. I came up with an idea that I think you guys will like, and actually may turn into a permanent idea. Oh, cool. So it came along this little garage alongside here. Oh, you know what would be really cool to make? A boathouse. I've never made a boathouse before. This map, actually, I do have to admit, this map is actually pretty fucking cool. Oh, look, and there's a deer there. House or deer? Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to clear this house out. We're going to loot it because we need everything anyways, and I may as well while we're here. And then we'll go and kill that deer because I need foods too. Well, that wasn't so bad. I only had to clear three zombies, and I think there's one inside here. Yep, there's definitely one inside. Um, oops, I'm hitting the ground. This is actually really nice and quick to loot, though. Oh, there's, uh, hopefully we get a meat stew out of that. I would love to get a meat stew. What are you doing, buddy? Where are you? Ah, there you are. I knew as soon as I was going to go look for this asshole, he was going to actually be right up in there. So I'm going to give him a, uh, a bonk on the noggin here. There we go. Get rid of him, and then we'll go and check out this loot. Oh, sick. I love crits. They're, they're so much fun. That's why I like using the melee tools like that. I find uh, the clubs, once you get them leveled up and shit, they actually blow up quite a few heads. And the uh, the sledgehammer is the best for no fucking way. As if I just got a meat stew, two uh, raw meat, and a beer in one cooler. That's actually probably, probably the best cooler loot I've ever gotten. That was pretty freaking sick. Okay, what are we at? 28% food? I will go ahead and eat that. That'll actually raise our max... Um, wellness here or max wellness or to raise our wellness as well holy crap it's really quiet outside today it's actually kind of concerning oh look at that brass radiator now i'm not actually going to go ahead and uh scrap that down because we're pretty close to home and those actually break down really well in the forge you lose quite a bit if you scrap down the radiators i only do it if i ever have to and, oh water deer yeah oh oh no that wasn't enough to kill it but apparently it runs really slow in water too. Oh, there we go, and it's dead. Sick, a waterlogged deer. Let's go get his waterlogged meat. Come here, deer. Where you at? Oh, look how far underground you are. You're gonna kill me, deer. Does another note as well too, guys. Especially if you're around your base, don't leave animal corpses laying around. They will call in many, many screamers on you. Animal corpses have one of the highest uh, heat maps in the game. So just as a heads up, because I've seen a few comments where people were like, yeah, I went, killed a few animals, chilled out in the night, and I had two screamers on like day two. It, it's because you left the, the zombie corpses laying around. I learned that lesson the hard way as well, too. And I, it's actually in one of my playthroughs. Um, I just, I never come across, like, I had played for a few years by then, but I had never come across because I always took out the bodies anyways uh, because of the, the gore blocks back in the day. But anyways, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't aware that the, uh, the animal gore actually calls in screamers. So um, I hid in a military camp. And of course, I killed an animal nearby, and then a screamer wandered in and started uh, stepping on the landmines. Oh, it's sick. I fucking nailed it. Started stepping on the landmines, and it was the middle of the night, and oh my god, did I ever get owned. There's just zombies everywhere. Okay, did you not bleed out from that? Or die? Okay, let's get this one before it goes too far out in the water. Perfect. Look at that. Some more meat. Delicious. Okay, I cannot find this fucking deer. I see the antler, but I cannot find the, 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 the damn body. Is it this way? No. Is it this way? No. I'm just hitting the ground. What the hell? And I can't even bend to... Oh, th there we go. There we go. Okay. Is that... Whoa, that's funky. There we go. Holy crap. That was not an easy feat whatsoever. All right. So I'm going to actually stop and make some arrows here because we have 112 of them. Six. We have 112 arrows. More arrows. That should last us... You know, a few days and until the horde. So I'm going to keep going along here and gathering eggs and gathering feathers. Because we can make the bacon and eggs too. And those are just absolutely delicious. Oh, and look at this. A nitrate pile. I'm actually going to stop and hit this sucker up. Because resources aren't nearly as easy to find as they were before. They actually split them up. Actually, now I'm thinking... 
the resource table, like which one should be found where, should actually be in the journal if they have added it in the journal here. Let's take a quick look. I'm actually interested in finding that out. So we got quest and we got journal. So we're going to go to harvesting resources. Nope. Uh, mining. Here we go. All biomes have iron ore and a rare chance for all ores. So it is changed. It is a rare chance for all, all ores. Each biome has a predominant ore, which can be seen in small piles on the surface and found in that biome near bedrock. So what you want to do as well, too, is you want to look for um, gravel piles, piles of gravel on the surface. So those will indicate that there's stuff underneath it. Special ores per biome are nitrate and snow and wasteland, lead in maple and pine forest, coal in the plains and burnt forest and oil shell in a desert. That's always been true, but all of this has been changed now. You can look for light brown gravel spots on the ground on the, or, the, or the map. Oh, look at that. I actually found an error in their programming. It's supposed to say on the map <laughs> and dig down from there to find the resource veins. Clay can be seen as a medium brown spot on the surface. So if you guys ever have any questions, come to your journal. Look how much shit's in here. Oh, and it looks like we've come across another POI as well here, too. Uh, now, if we look at the map, I'm actually pretty close to home. So I might choose one of these areas just to go out and swim across. Because running all the way, other way around, I don't think will really save us any time. Uh, but I'm going to get some attention here because I'm smelly. And this is a POI, so it's going to spawn in some zombies. Oh, look at that. It's a farm. Sweet. Okay, we'll go check this one out. This one's always cool. I don't know why, but I've, I've always liked these POIs. Okay, so I come in here, and this nurse is kind of derping out on this ladder. What are you doing, nurse? Look at her come down all slowly backwards. That's fucking hilarious. This update has had some of the weirdest, derpiest zombie tracking I've ever seen in the game in my life. Like, the the deer on the cactus? That was fucking amazing. Uh, there's a few other instances. Oh, yeah, the, the water animals. How the water walk... Or the animals know how to swim and can walk on the water, even. Jesus, pig. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Sweet. These zombies are actually slowly getting a little bit easier to kill as well, too. I'm finding they're not nearly as bad. But look at that. She landed on the cooler and holy shit! I got a blueberry pie right off the bat. Nice. Let's eat that shit up. Oh, wow. I've been having so much luck this time around. But this has a whole bunch of hay bales in it. There's some storage up here, too. I think there's a box and stuff up here we should aim. Oh, yeah. Look, there's a box and a bob. You can never go wrong with a box, but you can go wrong with a bob. There we go. <laughs> Nothing in that corpse. That kind of sucks. Anyways. Oh, shit. Oh, cool. I thought I was going to sprain my shit again. Let's uh, let's head towards home here, guys. We're getting pretty close. Yeah, this looks like it's definitely... Whoa, whoa, yeah. Look how far over that lake goes from over here. Definitely, this is the best spot to start swimming back from. At some point in this game, guys, I'm going to have to make a freaking land bridge over to that hub. Because I know we're going to be going and visiting that hub quite a bit. But, oh my god, that swim... It's just, it's too much. That's, I, I just don't have the patience for that shit. Um, now, it looks like we have another close point over this way as well, too. So next time I go to go over that way, uh, we're actually going to go directly across and see if that brings us any closer. But oh my god, like, that felt like literally the whole journey all the way around here. Just swimming across there. Ugh, that's annoying. The other thing I found too, guys, is um, I'm slowly going to exhaust the trees on this island. Uh, this island itself is not very big, um, and I really don't want to have to travel like all the way over here just to get some trees right off the bat. Oh, look at our trader too. It's across so much water. Um, we're going to have to make a bridge to the trader as well. This is going to be a lot of land bridging, I think. So we're going to have to make a pit. Because this this is in the desert. I'm not complaining about the desert. This is actually where I wanted to be. But it's um, in the water world. I don't think this is actually the best place anymore. Uh, but whatever. It is, it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead, um, grab whatever I stashed in this sedan here. Maybe organize my shit a little better. Bring everything upstairs. And I'll see you guys once I got my shit together. Alright, didn't get quite everything. But my inventory is pretty full. So the other thing I was thinking about doing too is actually going to the back of the building and the sides of the buildings and putting ladders going all the way up to the roof. That way... I hear zombies. Are they inside? Or are they... You know what? They're actually most likely underneath. Let's go check that out. Um, but, like I was saying, I lost track of thought. But anyways, here's a zombie right here trying to get in the back door. She's opening up the garage. And you know what? I probably actually should encourage that. Yeah, I'm going to let her get her way through there. Um, although it doesn't really save me any time at this point because it's just wood. Uh, look at that. Level 17 for construction tools. I just went over and broke it open so I can take her on. Come here, little lady. Oh, shit. 
She actually fucking hit me. Oh, my first infection on day five. Took me five days to get infected. That's a record. Okay, so these guys are outside. I thought I heard zombies inside, and I was kind of wondering, okay, well, where are these zombies going to be spawning? Are they going to be spawning upstairs with me while I'm upstairs? Because then that would be a very bad place to build if you're having zombies spawn in your place. Because they'll just trash your shit when you're not looking, right? Uh, that's what's wrong with the sleeper spawns on uh, PC right now, is uh, they're they're out of control. You can't build in any POIs anymore at this point. Or if you do, you got to like completely replace the whole entire building pretty much. All right, so let's just get to it here before it gets too dark. What I'm going to do for Horde Knight here is I'm going to create a um, ring of frames going around the outside. We're going to use, um, you know what? I don't think we need frames. Yeah, we need frames. What I'm going to do is use iron frames. They're pretty cheap. I'm going to run them around the outside about too deep. And then what I'm going to do is I'll come down and take out all these hay bales and stuff and whatnot. You know what? I'm using the ladder because I'm afraid of these hay bales. Um, and then come down here and put down a bunch of barbed wire down like we did the last episode. So what I'll do on Horde Night is I'll go on this floor, run around, and shoot down at them while they're on those. But in order to do that, what I'm going to have to do, I think, is take out all these staircases. And that is going to take quite a while in itself. All right, home sweet home. I love the open concept. I've been slowly banging all this stuff out. Uh, now, I do have some iron and crap. You know, I'm going to go to the forge right away, and then we'll deal with some food here. There we go. We don't have much iron, but what we have, we can pump into the forge and make some more uh, forged iron, because we need that. Oh, you know what? Can we get the workbench? Can we work on our workbench here, guys? Let's, let's go to crafting. Um, crafting. I meant to go to skills. Damn it. I don't have my shit together here today. Okay, and we're gonna be looking up. I wish you could, like, search it. I don't remember exactly what the workbench is under. Ah, here it is. Uh, construction tools 20, recipe workbench. Okay, so we do not have our construction tools 20. That's right. I just said a few minutes ago that they're only 17. But from doing this tonight, from getting ready for the horde, I think we can get that up to level 20 and learn our workbench. That would be... Pretty damn sick, actually, to have that right off the bat. So I'm going to go 18 minutes and 50 seconds. I guess that might be enough, might not be, but uh, we'll find out. And we'll head back down, and I got some organizing to do. All right, there we go. So I got all my shit together here. So I'm going to take our iron, and what we're going to do is we're going to make our supplies out of them. So we want to go with... I wonder if it's quicker to go recipes. And definitely not. Uh, but we do... I only have a 719. I'm going to make another iron reinforced club because we, we're going to need one anyways. This one's almost broken down. And I think I have my skills up a little higher. We need to bar uh, make some barbed wire as well. Uh, but these are most important. Scrap frames take 15 each. Like I said, they're not very expensive at all. Um, if they get blown out on Horde Night, they get blown out. There's not much I can do about it. I'm going to make about 30 of those and we'll have a few kicking around as well too. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Level 215. I wonder how much one of these break down to. Let's, let's find out. Let's scrap that. 75. Actually, that's not even that much of an iron loss when you scrap those things back down. That's kind of impressive. Okay, so I'm going to have to get rid of these frames along the edge here as well, too. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm just going down the ladder here. Now, the bottom of this ladder will probably get destroyed on Horde Night, but that's okay. It's just it's just a wood ladder. What I'm going to do... I have so many plans here, guys. I'm, I'm so scatterbrained today. I just can't seem to get my shit together. Uh, what I'm going to do is make an elevator system, like the hatch elevator that we made in the last episode. But I'm going to renovate this building so that the, the hatch elevator actually ends up showing up out here. Oh, that's where the sign is too. Damn. Hmm. Maybe I'll run the hatch elevator or two hatch elevators. I don't know. We'll, we'll look for a good place to put the hatch elevator, but this is a pretty big empty space. If I could find a middle part of it, we'll put it up in here. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, now I got to get rid of these frames here. These ones here are the ones that are sitting on the outside. They're actually not sitting on this inside block right here. They're sitting on the outside one. So if I destroy one end of these, hypothetically, the other should collapse because it's too heavy, or I gotta go and destroy the other end. So let's find out. Yeah, we gotta destroy the other end, but this will be quicker than like taking each and every single one out. Oh my God, is this ever so much faster than doing it with the, uh, the stone ax. There we go, see you later. Another thing I'd like to point out as well here too, now that we're actually down here, is when I break these, I get a random amount. Like, I only got one that time. That's actually incredibly low. But if they fall into scrap iron piles, you actually get a lot more iron out of them. 15? Yep, 15 each. Confirm. There we go. 
Okay, so I got those railings out and I thought, you know what? This actually isn't that big of a space. So what we're going to do is fill up this entire middle area. Uh, are scrap frames under... Oh, okay, they're under basics. Cool. I'm going to fill up this whole entire middle area with frames and then we can just shoot straight down at them from here. And it's only like, what, three blocks high? That's not even that bad, actually. That's a good height. So we should be able to take care of Horde Knight pretty easy. Now, this is not a good design if you have stuff like cops because these are pretty weak they blow up pretty damn fast but there really shouldn't be any reasons for zombies hitting these if there is we're gonna have an interesting horde night horde night if there isn't then we're gonna have a good one but we'll find out right it's the first time i've ever done something like this ish um i've done similar designs like in alpha 15 my um vanilla well, not really vanilla season, but when I first started developing this mod, basically, when I first started learning mods, um, I took over a grocery store and hacked out the roof and did the kind of the same style. But this one's a little different because it's not ground level and crap. Well, I guess it's the same. Never mind. I'm just bullshitting you guys. So what I'm hoping is it'll actually come down here and come through this big open space, come up these stairs and into that middle part. Now, it might not happen that way. They might end up attacking the middle of the building. Uh, but we'll find out, right? What better Horde Knight to find that shit out than your first one when it's really easy? So I'm also going to go along the floor too and um, just get rid of all this random garbage. I hate these noisemaker things. I'm actually surprised I haven't taken them out yet. Ah, uh, sweet. There we go. Look at that. A nice... Uh, now this is only, what, one, two, three, four, five blocks high? They should be able to track up this high. I don't really foresee any problems that way. Uh, what do these things scrap down to? Do these potted plants even scrap? They do not. So what we'll do is we'll just save them. And um, I guess we'll use end up using them as decorations somewhere. Although I do believe you can actually make potted plants now. Let's check that out. Pot. We make pots. P to potted plants. Yes, you can. That's right. Um, or it's been in the game for a very long time. I haven't had to make one in a long time, so I can completely forget. But yeah, so I have some cleaning up to do, obviously. Uh, this first floor is going to get trashed. Uh, so I'm going to disassemble stuff like cash registers and other stuff laying around here. And anything valuable, basically. Oh, that water noise in the background, because we're close to the, um, the lake, it keeps tripping me out. It sounds like other zombies. So my final plans with this build, at least at this point, is what I'm going to do is we're going to keep this kind of design, but we're going to cut out the floor here because beneath us is the garage and it's actually deeper and it's more open. Oh, you know what? I just realized, guys, there is a ton of cars up underneath here. And if the zombies end up going underneath it for some reason, they're going to fuck up all those cars and we're going to have explosions and shit. Look at all these cars down here. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna have to break these down. Oh, oh, I haven't even searched them yet. But these are gonna take a while to break down with a shitty wrench. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't have the patience for this right now. Um, we'll go take care of more important things. Um, uh, you know what, though? Oh, look at that, crossbow schematic. If these things... If these things explode, they could take out these support poles, and that might be bad. But, also on my Alpha 15 list play, I collapsed this building, guys, and I couldn't actually get it to collapse by removing all the support poles. I had to do the trick where you um, match up the building to the ground with a, with like a nerd pole or something to reset the physics, right? Um, so I think, actually, even if the support, building, or support poles of this building get taken out, we'd actually be okay. Alright, so next step is, is I don't want these zombies tracking up these stairs coming after me. Did I leave? Oh, I did too. Is this... Oh, oh, no, wait. Is this wood? It is wood. It, it makes a metal, or it makes like a, a stone sound though for some reason. I think it's because it's a granite con countertop, but it's made out of wood. It's a little wonky, but whatever. Oh, look at this. It's all locked up. You know what? Another good source of iron as well too, guys. Um, especially when you have higher um, weapon skills and some time. Are these, um, are these shelves? They actually give you a decent amount. Let's break one down and see uh, what the bonus is on these. And... nothing. Okay. They still do give you a fair amount, though. You can always break them down if you need some stuff. Oh, there's so much stuff on this floor that's potentially going to get all fucked up. But you know what? Oh, we're going to open this building up. We're going to be changing this whole building eventually. So I'm not too worried. If they trash it, they trash it. The open sign can stay. 100%. It can stay there. There you go. Open sign. I like how it's red on the back, though. I've never actually looked at the back of it like that. But yeah, it's red. They need to fix that texture. That should be, like, gray or something. I don't know why the back of the sign is glowing. Um, also, too, all these little lights on the ceilings, I could take these down and scrap them. I'm not going to with my level 27 wrench, but you can. Okay, so 
I'm sitting here hitting these fucking floors, guys. This, that's not, that's not gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen, though, is I'm gonna build some frames, and we're actually just gonna frame these staircases right in. Um, if they're blocked, hopefully they shouldn't track them. If they do track them, well, we're in for a surprise on Horde Night. Um, so this will be another uh, interesting experiment as well, too. But I don't see anywhere in the programming where it indicate that zombies can bash through walls to get the staircases. Um, if it's open, they'll track it. But I think it's if it's beneath or behind a wall, I don't think we'll have a problem. And that's going to be a lot quicker and also help me level up my stone axe skills. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. I left one door open. Damn it. A little premature on that. Uh, now, I am fully aware I can make a hammer at this point, but because of my low amount of iron and the fact that I want a workbench right away, I'm actually... Oh, wait. You know what? Guys, I'm an idiot. I need a hammer for the workbench, and we haven't found one, so never mind. Don't listen to me. Don't take my advice. It's horrible. I'm going to make myself um, a hammer here as well, too. We still have 32 forged iron and still some iron coming, so that that's good. I'm happy with that. Oh, and look at that. Level 19 for construction tools. We're almost there, guys. So what I'm going to do is I think to get my construction tools up, we're going to go outside and I'm going to farm some more wood because we're going to run out of that soon anyways. And holy crap, my inventory is just full of random garbage I was picking up from those random loot bins. These burnt out trees are cool too as well. I don't mind having these around because they drop coal. And coal is useful, especially early game. Uh, you can use it in the forge, you can use it to make some quick gunpowder. Um, it's just really handy to have that extra drop on those trees now. Alright, so I'm out here. We must be getting really, really close to having this thing uh, maxed out. Let's take a look at our character here. Oh, I meant to go to my skills. Damn it, see? Told you guys. Not doing so well here today. We're going to go to tools traps and we're going to look up construction tools. Oh, look at how much XP in the next level. Never mind. You know what? I'm going to just go ahead, get this thing leveled up to level 20. We should have a new one. There we go. Level 104. Nice. And uh, once we got that done, I'm going to go upstairs, get my food and everything together, get myself cured because it's leeching my, H or my stamina. And then we'll make some food as well too because, yeah, I'm starving. I'm hot and stuff. But I'm just like hanging in there to get that up to level 20. There we go, level 20, sweet. Let's get our asses home. I didn't know why. I don't know why I went to the map. This door is pissing me off. It's gotta go. This door has been here for so long. I've been just kind of too lazy to get my ass through it. Oh, look at that. Oh, this axe rocks. All right, let's grab our meat. Let's grab our eggs and make ourselves some eggs and bacon. This should fill us up all the way. Uh, but we only have 15 meat, so I think we're going to have to go out soon and do some more hunting as well. But that's okay. I can deal with that. Oh, what am I using hay bales for? We want to use wood. I only need 58 seconds of burn time. All right. And while that is going, we're actually going to go to our skills and we're going to look up the workbench here. I think it was on page two. It is. Bam. Nice, we actually have the workbench in our recipe list. So we're gonna go to crafting and we're gonna actually just search up workbench. Um, it's, it's a lot easier most of the time to do this in the menus. There we go, workbench. Okay, so what do we need for the workbench? We need a 25 forged iron, nice, we have enough. 20 mechanical parts, ooh, there's gonna be a challenge. How many do we have kicking around right now? I already know we have quite a few, oh, we only have four. We only have four mechanical parts, but we can solve that, guys, by going downstairs and going to that first office with all the chairs and stuff in it. So we're going to go take our wrench and start ripping through stuff here. Okay, so that only brought us to 86% hunger, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It did bring us so up to 107 wellness, so that's pretty damn cool. Uh, let's go and get ourselves some mechanical parts. All right, here we are. So we're in the main office area here, and there are chairs everywhere these are my favorite things to get mechanical parts from they break down really easy and they really produce like look at that two parts i don't even fin need to finish breaking that one down actually i can save the swings come on what do you got for me two more parts six so there's two four and uh hopefully we'll get two from this one what do we get two nice so there's another couple parts we're up to six already Eight. Awesome. Let's break this down a little more. Yeah, no, it doesn't give you any more. So I'm not going to bother wasting it because look at look at this level and look how many more swings we have. Not very much. Oh, that was a nice little haul. 10, uh, 7.62 millimeters. Some more magnum rounds as well, too. A magnum grip. We have a whole bunch of gun parts already, guys, that we can go and uh, bring to the trader. We're probably going to make another trip to the trader here after Horde Night to dump off what we got and hopefully buy some stuff that we actually need. Oh, uh, and this desk was a nice little find. Look at this. A pistol, some rounds. That's pretty sick. Actually, how much is this pistol worth? 
388. Nice. Now we have something to do with all our fucking pistols. We can go and sell them to the trader. Uh, trader will take 25 for these? Yeah, no. We're, we're just going to scrap these and use the iron. All right, so we've used up this whole room here. Um, the filing cabinets drop mechanical parts as well, too, but you have to actually, like, break your way through them quite well. Uh, so we have four parts back there. We need 20, so that brings us up to 16. So we only need four more parts. Wow. The mechanical parts at 1.2, guys, used to be really hard to find, but that, even that's not the case anymore. I forgot to search these desks. Even if I want to come back down here to grab these later. Oh, oh wait. I was just about to say I can make a mining helmet out of that, but we definitely do not need a mining helmet. So um, I'm going to drop some of this stuff off here. We definitely don't need it. And I'm actually going to run across to the gas station because there's a bunch of stuff there that drops mechanical parts as well. Oh, I thought there was a chair behind here. Never mind. Oh, that kind of sucks. Is there? Uh, there's an air conditioner on top of here, though. Those hands down are worth every single swing you put into them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we actually, I don't, you know what? Have we been back here even yet? I think we have. Whatever. Let's go up to the top and take out one of those air conditioners. That should give us uh, one or two more parts. Oh, there's two air conditioners up here. Sick. Okay, I'm going to grab up both of these here. And hopefully this wrench lasts and gives us the parts we need. Oh, there's one mechanical part. Nice. Okay, so we only got one mechanical part from that one, so let's go ahead and scrap this one down. Now, if all else fails, I do have a few other lower uh, lower wrenches laying around, so that's not too bad. But it would suck, like, being one part short of the workbench, because then, then we could just make our shit, right? Okay, so we used up the air conditioners from this one, but if we look across there, there's another air conditioner there. I can see it. Uh, we are up to 15, so we only need one more, and that one should give us the last one we need. And just in time, too. Look how much repair we have left on our wrench. Now, if this was the other gas station as well here, too, guys, just making this observation. Uh, if this was the other gas station, there would be a pole top laying on the ground. It's a top of a power pole. Uh, those are lights, yeah. It's too bad they don't actually use them on top of the power poles. I think that would look cool. Uh, but it's laying on the ground. It looks like the top. If you wrench those down, they actually give you a, um, a healthy amount of mechanical parts as well, too. And there we go. We got our last mechanical part. That is freaking awesome. So we have our mechanical parts. We have our wrench and our hammer. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this wrench because it's almost broken. Uh, and we have our wood and our forged iron. Awesome. So I'm going to head back to base here. And we're going to make this sucker up. And there we go, workbench in the queue, but it's going to take another 4 minutes and 18 seconds. Well, plus the other stuff I have in my queue until we see that. So another, uh, I would say, about 5 minutes. So we have a little bit of time here before we can play, play, uh, place our workbench down. So let's take a quick look at this forge here and get some of our iron going, because I don't really want to waste any time with that either. Now, the downfall of having my forge up here like this is we still will get screamers, and they will be directly in front of the building. So we will have some hot screamer um, action, definitely, with the forge is set up like this. I should actually put them beneath that floor where we're going to be taking zombies on at, but um, it still needs a lot of work. Uh, I got to do the basement, and you know what I should do is just kind of dig under the pavement under the basement and throw all my forges under there. That way the screamers all wander into the building and onto a floor that'll kill them. I think that would be cool. Ah, here we go. Okay, so we have 100 uh, or 400 iron my bad so let's go ahead and make some more of that forge i still don't even have an anvil yet but that's okay oh look at that 40 perfect okay while that's going that's going to take a while the workbench is going to take a little while here uh what i'm going to do is just uh continuously work on improving this place because we were opening it up last episode i wanted to go with uh more of an open concept base oh and you know what i can do as well oh wait no i can't because the workbench is in my queue damn it <laughs> i was going to start making some more tools and stuff while i was waiting for the workbench but that doesn't make any sense anyways i'm going to start uh popping some of this walls or some of this wall out here okay before you guys go crazy i'm going to go ahead and eat some honey here there we go we're okay and there is our workbench i actually came over to here to clear out some of the um Items in my inventory because there's quite a bit. How much is a level 1577? Eh, whatever. I'll hold on to it for now. We have space. Okay, sweet. Now, where to put this workbench? Maybe I should put the things. All our storage is right here. I said I wanted to make a balcony, and this is going to be one of the doors. I think I can make a balcony coming out here, too, and join it going around the outside. I think that'd be fucking awesome. Uh, this wall is going to come out. This is going to stay. I'm going to keep this in here. We're going to look at improving it, though. I might throw a flaming barrel or something underneath it and make it look better. Or we might just punch this out and do our own because, like, 
Fuck that. Anyways, where should we put this thing? I didn't even think about this before we started doing it. So this is a permanent outside wall right here. You know what? I'm going to put it... Yeah, let's get rid of some of this bathroom shit here. I'm going to get rid of these um, this cabinet and the medicine cabinet and this. And we're going to tuck it right in the corner here. Friggin' awesome. There we go, guys. We have our workbench. New journal entry workbench. Nice. Uh, so our next step here is we need to start combining items. Like I can combine a whole bunch of axes to make a really strong axe. I can combine a whole bunch of bows to make a really nice bow. So what we're going to do is spend some time building stuff and then combining it and trying to get to level 600 with um, with our basic tools. Because like even a level 600 stone axe is going to outperform a level five or 85 iron pickaxe, right? There we go. Got some uh, lawn mowing down around, or done around the house. All that grass that's growing on the sand over there. So under plant five plant, 105 plant fibers should actually be enough. Ooh, where is this sucker? Where are you? I can hear you. Ooh, where is that? Is that is that anywhere close? No, it's in the middle of the lake. Fuck. Oh, that's so much effort. I want to get it, but it's in the water. I guess I could like, nah, you know what? We need to get ready for the horror, guys. Oh my god, get my shit together here, Skippy. Okay, so we got 105 plant fibers. So what we can do now is uh, start making some tools. What I need to do is just start spam crafting some axes, uh, which... Oh, I'm under weapons. I'm like, what the hell? Where did the axes go? I'm having a moment here again. Okay, let's make some axes. The great thing about this, too, is I can make, like, you know what? I'm going to make, like, fucking 26 of these. And then we'll combine them all. 26 should combine until level 600, I think. All right. And as I was saying, the good thing about this is um, you can actually craft a head. Oh, look at that. It only slightly um, improves it. So I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to keep slamming these things together. It's obviously going to take a while. Like, look, it's not even, like, adding anything to itself. <laughs> Holy crap. Whatever. I'll slowly increase my skills and get a high-level stone axe out of the deal as well, too. There we go. That only gave us level 240. So I'm going to go ahead and make another 30 batch of that. But I'm going to do it in my own personal inventory. I always do that. When I'm in the workbench, I start crafting something, and I forget it's actually crafting in the workbench. I'm like, where the hell is that thing that I made? There we go. Look at that. Level 399. Actually, you know what, guys? For good measure, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we can't even make one more stone axe out of plant fibers. Okay, so I'm going to have to go and grind some stone and also get some more plant fibers as well, too. We're getting really low on those two items. But level... Oh, wait. Oh, we have one right in our um, toolbar here. Let's fix that up. I want to see myself some blue. Awesome. There we go. Level 403. That's freaking awesome. We should be able to, like... Uh... Let's actually take a look here. Block damage, 65.44. Block damage, 65.74. Oh, wow. The stone axe actually almost does as much block damage as the iron pickaxe. But the good thing about this, the, the stone axe, you'll actually be able to produce quicker out of it because it swings faster than the iron pickaxe does. This swings slowly. This swings faster. I always forget that and have to remind myself if I'm taking out things that are irritating like spikes, use a high level stone axe. You'll whip through them real quick. Okay, guys, so we have this big rock here. I have my axe, which has almost the same block damage as this half-broken pickaxe. So I'm going to go ahead and actually count in my head how many seconds it takes to break down a whole level of this block. Each level is the same as the last level. So let's go ahead and, holy shit, grab a drink. 17 seconds for that, guys. Aw, oh, damn it. I hit the other one just slightly, but that might just be an extra second. Let's see how long it takes with my pickaxe. Holy crap, guys. It was literally almost exactly the same. So it seems even with the slower swing the pickaxe does, it actually makes it up by doing um, maybe like a bonus damage to the block. I'm actually going to have to go into the XML and look that up, but that just blew my mind. So if I make... Um, a level 600 axe might be slightly faster than um, a level 100 uh, pickaxe then. So yeah, it's definitely not worth using your axe for doing that when you can do it with an iron pickaxe. You know what I mean? Wow, lesson learned. Okay, well, I just debunked myself, guys. Okay, back to uh, myth busting here. Now, I think in the long run... Uh, a stronger hand axe, like the stronger um, stone <laughs> hand axe. Stone axe is actually probably better because look at my stamina right now. It's not really degrading. It's kind of going back between 54 and 53. 
But if we use my big pickaxe like this, my stamina obviously degrades a little bit down further. Here we go. Because I was running out pretty quickly. Yeah, look at that. It's going down way faster than it would with the, uh, the stone axe. So yes, it actually makes more sense to use a higher level stone axe than it does to use a lower level pickaxe. Wow. Okay. Rebunked myself. All right. I think we're good enough. I pulled out the pickaxe just because I don't know. The animation of it's just a little more satisfying. Um, we'll do more testing in the future here. Maybe some more proper testing. Like I got to make sure my stamina is at the same level when I go to time the, um, the time it takes to go through a level and everything else too. So we'll do that properly again. But from what I've seen, it's actually a slight advantage to use a higher level stone axe than it is a low level pickaxe. But we'll get there, right? Now that I keep uh, spam crafting stone axes to combine them, we can actually get um, a high level pickaxe and that'll actually void that um, advantage anyways. But at this point in time, it seems that it's actually a much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making them and uh, we'll head upstairs and start combining them. Okay, so that brought us up to 585. I actually think we need to make only three more stone axes and then we'll have a perfect stone axe. And then I got to move on to my bow as well here too. Oh, look at that. See, I did the same thing again. I made it in my workbench. Now I have to slide it from the workbench to my inventory and then we can combine those suckers. Yeah, I think this is going to bring us to 599. 599, damn it. <laughs> One more. Perfect. Awesome. There we go. So we got a fur, uh, perfect pick uh, or stone axe. This is like the OP stone axe ever. And we're going to take a look, a, look, a, look, a look at it. It does 76 block damage, which is actually quite a bit more than 62 from the iron pickaxe. But we can make level 150 something uh, tools now, base. So that's good. So I can actually go and make a 150 pickaxe, and it's definitely going to have better uh, block damage than this one. But this will still be good to have around, too, for construction, whatever. Ah, whatever. We have one. It was a waste, but it was fun to actually kind of check out. So let's move on here and start doing our bows. This is going to take quite a few of them as well, too. But we don't need stone for those, so it won't be nearly as bad. Okay, so before we combine all of this, we're looking, our um, entity damage is 36. So we'll see what we get when we combine a whole bunch of these together. There we go, got weaponsmithing up to level 29 already. This one wasn't nearly as bad uh, because I already had my weapon skills quite high where my tool smithing skills are actually still quite low. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Entity damage, 60. Nice. Much more powerful bowl. Gonna be a bowl. Um, bow gonna be much more effective on Horde Knights. So sick. There we go. We got a perfect axe and we got a perfect bow going on. Now, I think our next stop here is gonna be back to the forge. I got 114 raw iron to put in there and we can grab what we made and make some new tools because I wouldn't mind having a new um, stone pickaxe and we'll make ourselves um, a hammer as well too so we can construct stuff easier. Yeah, we only got 40 more. So yeah, that's only a couple tools. So let's go ahead and fire up that for or fire up this raw iron into it. All right, here we go. So we're going to get an iron pickaxe. We need one of those right away. That takes 20. And uh, do we really need the hammer? Because like I have a level 600 stone axe. Yeah, you know what? Screw you guys. I don't need the uh, the hammer quite yet. This this will do. This will do. We'll get the hammer once we have some iron to spare. Now, I think I got a lot of digging to do as well, too, because uh, it's such a toss-up. Fire axe or shovel? Fire axe or shovel? You know what? I think I'm going to go shovel because we are in the desert, and I can start doing some digging and stuff as well here, too. Um, now, we don't have that much room to dig. Like, I could... I don't even know, guys. Like, the, look how much room we have here. It's not much. Uh, I, I like how there's snow and sand combined over there. That's just kind of fucked up. Oh, there's snow. I was going to say. Well, there's snow right there. It won't be hard getting water. Yep, I won't uh, I won't repeat that again. Holy crap. But yeah, we still have a few minutes to let go on this. We have uh, the forge together. We got the horde base ready. Actually, the horde base like took barely any time, which is pretty sick. And we're making a new snazzy pickaxe. So I can combine these pickaxes and everything. But I've run out of time to record here again today, guys. As usual, I want to say thank you for your support and for dropping a like and doing all the other crap. Best thing you can do is actually add this video and all my videos to um, a separate playlist of yours. Anyways, have a good one, guys. I'm out for the day. Stay classy. Always survive and back up those game saves. I almost forgot my outro on that one.